Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can fix your error can't connect to this network on Windows 10 operating system. I will show you step by step. This is the complete tutorial of this error. I will show you the error like this. If I clicking on it and if I want to connect with this Wi-Fi, it is taking more time and not going to connect with this and saying that can't connect to this network I will show you how you can fix it and how you can resolve it first step we need to troubleshoot this problem this is the basic step click on start menu you will see here setting click on this and then network and internet and here you will see the troubleshoot option click on this and this is detecting the problem if your issue is solved then ok click on next and apply to fix if in your case this has fixed the problem so well and good if still not fix the problem then you can go to further in my case if I want to apply to fix it it is not going to fix it so troubleshooting does not help for me and simply close it since we are on at this way so click on Wi-Fi and here manage no networks and delete the all networks which you connected here like this forget this one you can also choose here the network in which you are facing the problem and I have forgotten all the networks go to back and check if your issue is solved then ok if still facing the same problem we need to go to the third option go to network and internet sharing options here you will see change adopter options click on this and you will see here the connected network which you want to connect so I have connected with Wi-Fi go to property here by right clicking and then choose your internet protocol and property if there is a already an IP here so you need to choose obtain an IP automatically and this as well obtain DNS server address automatically and hit ok and then close it and check if you are still facing same problem we need to go for a fourth option which is clear all socket errors and I will show you by the CMD how we can fix it go to search bar type here CMD and right click on it and run as an administrator here you need to type two commands here I have also pasted into my description link you can also paste it or you can follow my screen the first command is net sh space windshock space reset and hit enter and it is saying that successfully reset your windshock catalog you must restart your computer but not now we need to type your second command net sh space int space reset space reset log dot log you can see here and hit enter and after that you need to exit this and then you need to restart your system and if your issue is solved then ok and then still facing the same problem we need to update or uninstall our Wi-Fi driver here for this right click on start menu and you will find here device manager here is click on this and you will see here the details of go to network adopters expand this and you will see here there are lots of options you will be confused for this solution I will show you how you can find which is the exact 
driver of Wi-Fi. For this, go to icon here and then network and internet settings and go to the which you have connected like I have connected with Wi-Fi. Go to this and here you will find here hardware property here click on this and you will see here the in the description this is the name of my Wi-Fi driver so I will choose the option accordingly and update or uninstall this device by identifying it right click on it and you can update also and second option you can do that right click on it and go to property here and you will find here general setting advanced and driver click on driver this one and you can simply update your driver then choose second option we can't choose this one this one we need to choose and then this one let me pick from a list of available drivers and choose the latest or updated option here and next you can see window has successfully updated your driver if this has not fixed your problem you can roll back your driver this one roll back it and send it to my apps don't work with this driver and yes and your driver will be rolled back and check if you are facing the problem or your issue is solved we need to close this it is saying to restart your system but we will not shut down our system right now what you can do other thing that you can right click on it and this time if not working uninstall this and simply uninstall this device after uninstalling your device you can see my device has disappeared you can go to action and then scan for hardware changes click on this and your driver will be get back you can see here I have got my Wi-Fi driver and then you need to restart your system then your problem will be solved still facing same problem then go to sixth option which is reset all network setting this is the final and permanent solution of this because this is the advanced step for this go to start menu and click on setting then click on network and internet you will find here network reset click on this and this is make sure read this one you may have to install your VPN client but you need to reset it because the uh, Wi-Fi is not working click on reset it is showing that are you sure click on yes after resetting it it is the uh, popping up that you are you are about to sign out so save your work and then restart your system hopefully one of method are work for you so thanks for watching our channel if your issue is solved then hit like subscribe and share thank you